Let's do some more integration by substitution. Our goal is to make this look like a basic antiderivative, where we know this one would have u be the denominator because it's to a negative power. And we've seen x is in the denominator before. We rewrote them as negative powers and added one to divide by it and raise it as their new power. We could either have it look like that, or we had powers where we tried to rewrite it as a negative power. And then if you add one to negative one, we got dividing by zero and raising to the zero. We can't divide by zero. We want to remember that that antiderivative is three ln of x that had the derivative of three over x. So with this one here, where we have u that's going to be in the denominator, we want to keep in mind, we may be able to add one to the power, or if we add one and we get zero, we're going to write ln of u as our antiderivative. So starting this problem, we want to pick u to be whatever is in the denominator, because even if the power is not written in the denominator, we know it's to a negative power. Just like this 3 over x had 3x to the negative 1. If it was 3 over something that we want to make u, it'd be 3u to the negative 1. So for this one, our u is going to be the expression in the denominator, x cubed minus 3x. We're going to take the derivative of that. Derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Derivative of negative 3x is negative 3. And then we want to get du by itself, so we multiply both sides by dx. And now we are ready to do some substitution. Every time we substitute in for something that would have been a quotient rule for a derivative means that our antiderivative, when we do substitution, is going to have u to a negative power. So I'm going to write this as u to the negative, because I'm taking it out of the denominator, and it was to the fourth power. So this is really to the negative four. We stepped in for the whole denominator. And now for du, we want a three, an x squared minus three dx, but I have a 12, an x squared minus 12 dx. So I have 12s where I need threes. Is 12 too big or too small? 12 is four times my perfect du. So I'm going to put a 4 outside and a du inside. The other way of doing it is saying, hey, I need a fourth of what I have here. If I want to put a 1 fourth on the inside, I need a 4 outside. So 4 outside would give me my perfect du. And now I'm ready to integrate. There are two ways you could integrate a negative exponent. If you can add 1, go ahead and do it. If you can't add 1 because you get 0, make sure you write at line of u. So to integrate this, I'm going to do negative 4 plus 1 which is negative 3, then divide by negative 3, raise it to the negative 3, plus k. So then my final answer, I'm going to replace my u with x's. I'm going to have that negative 4 thirds out front. I'm going to replace my u with x's, which was x cubed minus 3x. There's my antiderivative. Applying those basic antiderivative rules to something more complicated make, means making u the denominator, raising it to a negative power. Then you can either add 1, unless you get 0, then you would write ln of u. But this one, we could add 1 to negative 4 to get negative 3, divide by it, raise it as our new power, and then switch back from u's to x's.